Are you an emotion scientist or an emotion judge? Something I had never really thought about before, but I was listening to Brene Brown's podcast, Unlocking Us, this morning. I love her podcast. And she was interviewing a guy whose book I actually got back in the fall called Permission to Feel, uh, Mark Brackett, who's out of Yale. And I love the question because I think a lot of times I've had the tendency to judge my emotions, right? We, we label emotions as good or bad, or we say, you know, we try to avoid certain emotions. I know for like a lot of my life when I was growing up, I didn't let myself um, feel sad. I didn't let myself express or experience um, sadness. I tried to just kind of snap out of it. Or if I was really angry, I judged myself for being angry. Or if I was disappointed or, you know, any of those things that weren't like good emotions, I would, I would judge myself for it. And um, I'd have really like negative self-talk and be very critical of myself about it. And I think that's likely to happen in the, with, in the midst of what's going on right now, right? In the past three months of, of how like the world's been, you know, turned upside down. I think a lot of us are having experiences maybe of grief or of, or of anger, sadness, fear, um, shame, disappointment, any of those things. And we just try to push past them. We just try to like, like blow through them, right? And, and try to like get on the other side. Because I don't want to feel that. Because if I start to feel that, I'm never going to stop feeling it. And so what I would encourage you to do, or invite you to do, Instead of being an emotion judge, which again, it's really tempting to do, and I think a lot of us have, have grown up being judges of our emotions, to be an emotion scientist, to be somebody who gets curious and who wonders. When you're noticing a feeling coming up, like really pause for a second and get curious. Like, where am I feeling that in my body? Am I feeling it um, in, my, in my chest? Am I feeling that in my stomach? Am I feeling that tension in my back? Am I, like, where, like to really get back into your body, first of all, like, where am I feeling that? And and, and what is that emotion? Because a lot of times we will say, you know, we're just really mad, but maybe we're actually disappointed. You know, maybe it's not really anger that's driving the emotion, maybe it's disappointment. And so if we can be a scientist about it, we can get curious and say, okay, what, what is it that I'm feeling? What is the emotion that I'm feeling? And what's the story I'm telling myself around that emotion? And maybe where does that story come from? So maybe I tell myself, you're not allowed to be sad because good girls aren't sad. And so don't be sad, Rachel. You know, so we all have our own version of whatever that is. So I would invite you today, when you notice yourself having an emotion that you're quick to want to like suppress or repress or like get rid of or push through, that you would pause for a second, that you would take a breath and that you would honor that emotion and that you would ask yourself, okay, what is, like, what is this? Where is it coming from? Um, and, you know, how can I pay attention to it? What is it trying to tell me instead of being so quick to dismiss it? So I hope that's helpful for you today. It was helpful for me to start the day. And so I hope that gets you in a better spot mentally, emotionally, and relationally for the rest of your day.